Today I'm going to show you how to convert any binary number to octal, to decimal, and to hexadecimal, and that's including fractions. So let's start from octal. What you have to do in octal is write out um, digits in groups of three, like that. So let's start from numbers that go after the decimal point from left to right. So one, one, zero. 0, 0, 1. We have just one left, but we add two zeros to make a complete group. And then from right to left, we go 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and we just add two zeros. Now you have to write out 2 to the power of next to each digit. So 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2. What I like to do is I like to skip that and I just like to write 1. 2 and 4. So 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, here and here. So now for each group, you just have to write the sum of numbers which are under the ones. Um, so this would be 1. Here we just have 4. Here we have 4 plus 1. So that's 5. Our decimal point here we have 4 plus 2 and that is 6 here we have just 1 and here we have just 4 so there you go we've got 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 point 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 in binary equals to 1 4 5 point 6 one four in octal let's move to decimal so in decimal you don't need to group anything at all um, the only thing you have to do is to write out again 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 I like to go straight to 1 2 4 8 16 32 and here you have starting from 2 to the power of minus 1 2 to the power of minus 2 to the power of minus 3. So let's check which numbers here are under 1. So that's 1 plus 2. So here is 0, so we don't need 8, we don't need. We need 16 and we need 32. So the sum is 32 plus 19 and that is 51. And here we have 1 eighth, because 2 to the power of minus 3 equals 1 eighth, basically. So 1 eighth equals 0 0.125. So we just write here, after this one point, 1, 2, 5. So 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, point zero, zero, 1 in binary equals to 51.125 in decimal and now hexadecimal so here we have a hexadecimal number system and you will see where we will need this so just like with octal you have to write out mm, digits in groups of four and that's the only difference that it's in groups of four and not three so zero one one zero one 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 zero and then you have one and we just add three zeros and here as well zero zero one one zero one one zero and we have zero one and we just add two zeros and again here we write out two to the power of zero two to the power of one two to the power of two and two to the power of three or i like to skip that and just write one two four eight so eight four two one 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 and in each group again you need a sum so here we just have two here we have a uh, four plus two is six and here we have 8 plus 4, which is 12, but in the hexadecimal system you don't have 12, you actually have C. 
so that's C. And here we have 6. Here we actually have 14, but in hexadecimal we don't have 14, we have E, so that will be E. And here we have 8. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, point zero one one zero one 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 zero one in binary equals to two six c point six e eight in hexadecimal there you go very easy and thank you for watching and if you need any more videos i will be adding them later on other conversions such as decimal to binary octal hexadecimal and vice versa.